Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest tips and tutorials for optimizing your website. Today, we're going to dive into a popular WordPress plugin called Elix Request a Quote. If you're looking to add a quoting functionality to your website, this plugin is a powerful and efficient solution. So, let's get started and learn how to set it up. Step 1. Install and activate the plugin. After you've purchased the plugin, log in to your WordPress dashboard and go to the plugins section. Click on Add New and then choose the Upload Plugin option. Now, locate the Elix Request a Quote plugin file that you downloaded from the Elix website and click on Install Now. Once the installation is complete, click on Activate to activate the plugin. With the plugin activated, it's time to configure it to match your website's requirements. To access the plugin, head over to the Elix Request a Quote tab on your WordPress dashboard and click on Settings. You'll find various configuration options here, allowing you to customize the plugin to suit your needs. Step 2. Customize the general settings. First, let's start with the general settings tab. Here, you can choose to display the add to quote button on your shop page, product page, or both by enabling the respective options. Next, go ahead and choose if you wish to open the quote form on a new page or in a light box. This is a tiny window that opens up within the same page as well as add a message stating the product has been successfully added to the quote list. Now choose the text and color that will be displayed on the quote button. Once you are done customizing the quote button, go ahead and choose which products you wish to include, exclude, or both from the request to quote settings. You may also apply these settings based on user roles and product stock. If you wish to disable the quote request feature for unregistered users, just enable that respective setting. Keep in mind, if you do not select any products or user roles, these settings will be applied globally. Additionally, if you wish to integrate the request a quote functionality with third-party plugins, enable third-party usage. Step 3. Customize the Hide Add to Cart and Price tab. This option allows you to hide the Add to Cart button on the Shop page, this one for the Product page, and this one allows you to hide the product price. You may also include specific products in the aforementioned settings by filtering them by category, name, and tags. On the contrary, by enabling the corresponding Exclude Products option and choosing the category, name, and tags, you may exclude specific products from the aforementioned settings. Finally, you may also exclude and include specific user roles from the aforementioned settings by enabling this option and choosing the user roles. Step 4. Customize the notification settings. Over here you may customize the notification settings. Let us start with the general notifications tab. Provide the administrator's email address and select the various order statuses. If you wish to go through chat logs, enable debug logs. Moving on to the SMS notification tab. If you wish to receive SMS-based notifications, enable this feature. Now go ahead and provide your Twilio SID, token, and your Twilio mobile number. Since we will not be using this feature, we shall move on. Lastly, we have the Google Chat Notification tab. Similar to SMS notifications, we can enable Google Chat notifications and enter the Google Chat's webhook URL. This will allow the admin to access the notifications and requests through their Google Chat. Step 5. Customize the template settings. Once we are done customizing the notification settings, it's time to customize the email templates. If you do not have the time to customize a template from scratch, enable Use Predefined Email Templates. This plugin then provides three different predefined templates to choose from.
Additionally, you may go ahead and enable terms and conditions and enter the content for the same if you wish to add that to the email templates. Further, we can customize the email subject, heading, and body for quote request emails sent to the site administrator, quote request emails sent to the customer, quote approved emails sent to the customer, quote rejected emails sent to the customer, and quote request SMS, Google Chats sent to the site administrator. If you wish to add specific content such as billing first name, etc., you can copy the placeholders on the right side menu and paste them in the desired position. Now let us move on to the final tab under settings. Step 6. Customize the quote list menu settings. Start by enabling show quote list icon and choose the color that will appear when a customer hovers over the icon. Now go ahead and choose if you want the icon to be fixed in one position or float, meaning it moves along with the screen as you scroll. Also, you may choose to display the products added to the quote list when a customer hovers over the icon by enabling this option. If you set the icon as fixed, you may also choose to show a label next to the quote list icon. We have finally completed customizing the settings tab. Step 7. Customizing the quote list and form. Under the quote list tab, choose the page on which the quote list will be displayed. If you choose quote list from the drop down, it will create a separate page for the list. Next, go ahead and enter a title for the page, choose the layout, choose the content and button that will be displayed on the page if the quote list is empty, and finally choose the content that should be shown in the product table on the quote list page such as the product image, price, quantity, etc. Step 8. Customizing the additional options. Under this tab, you may choose to show the update list button, clear list button, and the add more items button by enabling the respective options. You may also customize the label of the Add More Items button and select the page to which the button redirects the customer. Step 9. Customizing the quote form. This is the final step in the customization process. Here, you may choose to show the request a quote form and enter a title for the form. Once you are done with that, enter the redirection link for the Send Request button on the form as well as a message indicating a successfully sent request. Finally, under Form Field Settings, add the different fields that the customer must fill up in the form, such as first name, email, phone number, and so on. Once you've finished configuring all the settings, don't forget to save your changes. Step 10. Check the front end. Now that we are done modifying all the settings, it is time to check if the changes have been applied to the front end of your website. As you can see the products display an Add to Quote button and if a product has been added to the quote list, it can be viewed by clicking on the tiny quote list icon. The quote list icon is currently set to float and moves as you scroll. Once we click on the icon, you can see it redirects us to the quote form that is available with all the necessary fields. Your website visitors will be able to request quotes for products or services directly through the quote form you've created. And there you have it. Setting up the Elix Request a Quote plugin is a breeze, and it's an excellent way to provide a seamless quoting experience for your customers. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more WordPress tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.